all and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another shop Disney fall slash Halloween haul for you. So if you like videos like this and you're new to our channel, we'd really love it if you subscribe down below. Definitely feel free to leave us a comment. We love hearing everything you guys have to say. And without further ado, let's get started. So I'd like to give a disclaimer before I start any of these videos. I like filming haul videos because I really like watching other people's haul videos. I never want these videos to come off as braggy or gloating. I just like hearing about other people's products so I know if they're good quality before I spend my money on them and buy them. And in return, I like to film haul videos because I like telling you guys about all the products I buy so you know what they're gonna be like, how fast shipping will be before you go ahead and buy them. So the first item I got isn't per se Halloween, but it's definitely spooky themed. So it is a Haunted Mansion pop figure. There's a close up for you guys. Here's the side and the back. So it's Victor Geist from the Haunted Mansion, and he's the organist. So I have a Madame Leota pop figure that we got the last time we went to Disney, and I think these park ones are just really fun. Haunted Mansion is definitely one of my favorite rides at Disney, so we like collecting a lot of Haunted Mansion stuff. I believe when they first released this, it was a season pass holder exclusive, or maybe they got it first, I can't exactly remember, but then they did put it on Shop Disney, so I was really excited when we were able to buy it as well. And here are two close-ups of the pop figure. So you'll probably see that pop figures are a growing trend in our video. So my kind of obsession with collecting them started with my nephew. He was really into them. He was into a lot of the superhero ones when he was little. So I started buying them for him and then he bought one for me as a Christmas gift or birthday gift I believe one time and it kind of just all started from there collecting them. So the second item I got are two Disney pins. Now I know not everyone is into Disney pins, but when we started going to the parks really frequently, we started buying these as a souvenir to bring home. So I think the pins at Disney are really fun to collect, not only because you can get them as a little memento of your trip that you just went on, but we like buying some of the more inexpensive ones and trading them throughout the parks. So I know things have definitely changed this year with pin trading, but I do see that they have it up and running again. So just something to keep in mind if you do visit Disney, it's a fun little extra activity you can do while you're there. So the first Disney pin I picked up, of course, is Halloween themed. So since we can't go to the parks this year and there's no Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party, I decided to order some of the pins for the first time. I haven't really ordered pins in the past, but here's the first one. So I thought this was so adorable. It's actually two pins and this was $14.99 um, in US dollars. So it is Minnie and she has a little candy corn bow and then Mickey Mouse and they're both pumpkins. Some of the pins I think are painted much better than other pins and I think this one is a really great quality pin set because the colors are really vibrant, they're really pretty tones of colors, and they're just done extremely well. The second pin that I actually ordered is only one pin this time, but again, I think the colors on this pin are really, really nice. The quality of the pin is really great, and it's actually the Disneyland Castle. I would say it's the Disneyland Castle because it's more the shape and size of the Disneyland Castle, and it looks like candy. So the trees are little Mickey Mouse lollipops and the castle itself looks like it's candy corn and it's all the colors of candy corn. And I think these are really cute. Like I said, we really love going to the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party. And since they weren't having it this year, I thought these were fun little just Halloween items we could get to kind of remember that 2020 was definitely a unique year. And here's an up close look at both of the pin sets. So the fourth item that I bought from Shop Disney isn't necessarily, again, branded Halloween, but it definitely goes with the spooky Halloween spirit and decor aspect. So it was a little bit of a pricier item, but I 
finally purchased the clock from the Haunted Mansion. So I think this is really cute. It's extremely good quality. It's very heavy. I haven't taken all of the wrapping off of it, but it actually does work as like a little clock and the fingers on it move. So it's kind of a beige color. The eyes are green, the clock itself are green, and the little fingers of the clock are actual fingers. So I think that's super cute. Again, the Haunted Mansion is definitely one of my favorite rides at Disney, and I collect a lot of Haunted Mansion stuff, so I thought this was a really nice, um, it's definitely a collector's item, just a really nice piece to have. And here's a close-up of all the details in the Haunted Mansion clock. So the last item, again, I definitely saved the best for last, is this mickey mouse halloween pumpkin you put candy in it it's all made out of ceramic and it is so amazing i think so it is huge i expected this to just be a slightly bigger than a coffee mug and again if you watch my videos you will see the halloween coffee mug that i bought so we were there one year and they had something similar that you put like a little candle in. And again, it was just slightly bigger than a coffee mug. So for the price of it, I think it was like $35 to $40. I was like, ah, I'm not going to buy that. But then I broke down and bought it and was so shocked when it came in. It came in double box, so it got here super safe and sound. And it is just huge. I mean, look at this. It's almost as big as my head. Um, and it's just so great. It's meant to put candy in, so you're kind of like reaching into this bat mouth to get the candy out. And I just think it's so great. I am so happy I bought this. I think they definitely could have probably charged way more for this, just with how cute it is. It says trick or treat on the back in a really vibrant purple color. And again, I think it's so adorable. And here's a close up of the Mickey candy bowl. Okay guys, so that's everything for today's Shop Disney haul. So I know there were only five items, but it is almost Halloween. We're literally only two weeks away from Halloween. So I just went a little crazy, bought a few last minute items, but I'm really happy with all of them. I think Disney really charged really fair prices for all of these. And I'm really excited that after um, the first round of buys I made, there were, they released a couple extra items and I was able to go back and purchase those as well. So I was really happy about that. A lot of things on Shop Disney have been selling out extremely fast. So I was happy that late in the season, there were still some items left. I look really forward to buying some Disney things for Christmas, so stay tuned for those videos. But again, I hope you like this video. If you like haul videos or Disney videos, we'd really love it if you subscribe to our channel down below. That's it for today. Feel free to leave us a comment. Thanks for watching. Bye.